everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is taylor and today i am doing a get to know me type video basically this is a really chill video um it's not i'm just going to be straight up with my answers i did write some down and then i put them in this mug right here um so i have some questions in here and then i also threw in like some like dirty questions so if you're interested in finding more about me then please keep on watching y'all right, so let's get started so i just ripped them up and i'm just gonna pick at random and read them out loud and answer all right let me just start from right here petty <laughs> why would it, why is this the first question pettiest thing done to prove a point um you know what that's really hard because i'm low-key really petty but I want to say I feel like the pettiest thing that I've done to prove a point off the top of my head that I can think of is date someone like like I would like like okay like date someone like the ex of somebody that I felt like did me dirty or something like that. That's probably the pettiest thing I've done to prove a point. And the point was bitch fuck you. All right, next question. I'm not trying to look. Don't look at my nails, y'all. I say that in every video, but seriously. What is the last thing you watched on TV? A vlog. I don't watch TV like that, so if I'm watching TV, it's probably Netflix or YouTube, but I literally only watch TV at night. I do not watch TV during the day. I'm not really into TV like that. I don't even think I have cable. Notice I said think, because I don't even know. Um, yeah, I'm not really a big TV watcher. What animals scare you the most and why? Sea creatures, bitch. Because them motherfuckers is big as hell. And nobody ever even knows how big they are. Like, a beluga whale. I don't know how the fuck big a beluga whale is in real life. And the only way you see these sea creatures is if you're in their habitat. Like, a motherfucking scared of the ocean, like... Uh -uh. big body of the water i cannot do sea animals and then not to mention we don't even know like it could be so many more sea creatures out there that we haven't even discovered yet because the fuck like oh God, this one is big oh have you ever been cheated on yes i'm i'm sure multiple times i'm I mean, I only know of one time, I think, for a fact, like full-blown cheated, like they had sex with somebody else. Hush. Yeah, they had sex with somebody else while we was together. Um, yeah, I think that's the only time I've been full-blown cheated on, but I've been like played before where the person I was in a relationship with was like texting somebody else on some real, real, real romantic shit, you know what I'm saying? Or they was about to fuck somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Would I rather talk in my sleep or fart in my sleep? I do both. All right. All right. What or who was your worst boss? I never really had like really, really, really bad work experiences. But my worst boss i would have to say is my boss from the only job i've ever gotten fired from i've only had like maybe i've had like six seven jobs i've only gotten fired from one i quit the rest because i'd be over shit. she was a hater a big hater she was just a hater she was just mad like and she fired me girl all right next question would you rather have a live-in massage therapist or a live-in chef I'm gonna go with the mm, shit. See, when I wrote this down, I thought I was gonna go with massage therapist, but now that I'm thinking about it, like maybe I should do chef because I dead ass don't be wanting to cook, but I really do be wanting my feet rubbed every night. So that would be amazing. What? Have you ever dated someone you met online? No, I don't think so. Um. If I did, it obviously didn't last because I can't damn remember. So, yeah, I don't think I've ever 
dated anybody I met online. I know for a fact though, I've never been in no catfish type situation where I'm just whole ass dating somebody and we just texting and I never see them in real life. Like, no, I'm not with that shit. What was your first concert ever? I want to say it was Usher, the Confessions Tour. I think that was my first concert. I really, really that was actually Usher. Fun fact: Usher's Confessions album was my very first, I think, full R&B album that I had owned, and somebody gave it to me um, for for my birthday. But before then, I had just had like little like like I think I probably had like a Mary Mary CD and like like Celine Dion because I really fucked with that I really fuck with her I really fuck with Celine um yeah so I think that was my very first like R&B album I know when I was younger my brother gave me a little Corey album for Christmas and it's a picture of me y'all and I'm looking at the back and my mouth is open I'm just like y'all I just oh my god like, why the fuck was I doing that for Lil' Corey? Not to mention, it was snippets. It wasn't even the full songs on the CD. Like, it was dead ass snippets of his songs. And I would replay them all the time. Like, it was a CD. I was nuts. Oh my God, I was so crazy. Hold on, sorry y'all, I gotta fix my brow. They giving me frenemy vibes right now and they really supposed to be sisters. Shit. At least best friends. Um, yeah, Usher Confessions Tour was my very first concert. I love that album. Um, and I asked my dad, could I go? So I went with my babysitter and my brother Cody and his girlfriend. That was like 2001. <laughs> I don't know when the fuck that was. I just made that up. I don't know when that album came out. How, oh how are you different from your dad? You wanna know something? Me and my dad are like really, really, really alike. From our personalities to our mannerisms to the way that we walk, I walk like him. I'm just, we're like really, really alike and I never noticed until his last year of life. Um, yeah, so how we're different though is I feel like he's, he. He was very, very optimistic about everybody. He was the type of person that saw the good in damn near every everybody. I am not like that. I am more realistic when it comes to people and situations and life. Next question. <clears throat> Would I rather be overdressed or underdressed? Um, honestly, I'm always overdressed. Well, not anymore, but um, yeah. I usually am always overdressed. I always hang out with bitches who don't be getting dressed up. So that's that. <clears throat> what was your first cell phone? My first cell phone was a Nokia. Um, and I it was the one that like lit up on the sides. I think it was like blue. It might have lit up blue and like gray. I think it was like blue and gray. It was like in. I had a Nokia and it was on T-Mobile and I had that phone for like two months because I ran my bill up. I didn't know that <laughs> you had to pay like for texts, you had to pay for calls and stuff like that. So I was texting away. I was letting my friends text their friends. I was letting my friends call their friends. They was getting on the internet at school and stuff like and all that cost money and like I just ran my bill up so my parents took my phone and I didn't have another phone again until like eighth grade. Well, that was just a year, so I didn't have another phone till eighth grade. And then I got on Metro PCS. I got an iPhone when I was in twelfth grade. That's when I got an iPhone and I was on AT and T. But by then free texting and stuff like that was so i was good how many tattoos do you have i have let's count one two three four don't look at that um why am i looking back here i don't have back here um five six five and six are on my neck seven is right here eight 
is right here and nine is on the back of my ankle so nine tattoos as of right now that i can think of i don't think i have any more last fist fight it's been a minute how many relationships have you had girl are we counting like play play relationships because girl i honestly wouldn't even be able to remember what the hell i had going on in elementary school so i've only had six real like serious relationships and um yeah they were all in the past from 12th grade up 11th grade up i'm not gonna sit here and count my middle school boyfriends bro i'll be here all day so yeah six six relationships would you rather live in a five bedroom apartment alone or a one bedroom apartment with five kids please don't play with me i feel like we all know the answer to that question texting or phone calls like would i prefer well which one do i prefer texting i hate talking on the phone like i hate talking on the phone i also hate texting I'm not very good at conversation period so but out of those two texting definitely please do not call me like i will mm, not answer if i want to talk to you what do you think about the most honestly i feel like a lot of people aren't going to believe this but because i don't ever talk about it or i don't ever speak on it or say what i be saying what i think out loud but honestly what i think about the most is make like taking care of the people in my life and being able to just get them whatever they want, buy them whatever they want. Like, that's all I think about is being successful so I can take care of the people in my life. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all of my social medias. They will be below. I'll see you guys in my next video.